I, I would like to first of all thank all of you, um, the mayor and council members, and Jenny Brush of the Arts Commission for not cutting this position uh, during these difficult economic times. So it means a lot um, to me, and I think to a lot of a lot of people. Um, I would also like to thank the people who nominated me. Many of them are in the room, and including Barry Spax and Perry Longo, um, and maybe a round of applause for those two. <laughs> And then finally, I would like to thank my wife, uh, Sandy, who's over there, um, my family, and particularly my parents, Betty and Frank, who've uh, driven down from Sacramento to be here for Wonderful. this. Uh, thank you. The most uh, difficult thing, obviously, for this uh, is to write the installation poem. Um, and so uh, this has taken me a while. Um, here it is. <laughs> It's called The Difference Between Poets and Politicians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, who have voted in every election since turning 18, honor the work of public servants. Your devotion to the larger cause, your willingness to sit through meetings that might send me screaming from the room. Poets, you understand, are different. We see a tree and rather than environment or public park, think willow or coral or flowering pear. To us, fire evokes metaphors as soon as terror. The mountains at dusk are crepuscular. The ocean is a vasty deep. For you, problems are opportunities for solutions. For us, they are occasions for elegies and light verse. Nothing moves poets like ambiguity. Upright Porsche's sudden cruelty. The pathos we feel for Shylock, though he insisted upon his pound of flesh. We swim in shades of gray and green and aquamarine. Therefore, I receive these laurels humbly, realizing the most that I can likely do on your behalf is mark a moment on the calendar, then order the number six lunch special at Pepe's, breathe in the scent of blooming jasmine, and chant the euphonious names Anacapa, De La Vina, Camino Manadero, of our lovely city's streets. Thank you. Thank you, David.